Our next story from USA Today via MSN.com. Kanye West says he's running for president. There is no evidence of that yet. Just when you think things couldn't get any weirder in election 2020, Kanye West says he's running. The rapper, businessman, record producer, and social activist who once spoke of launching a presidential campaign for 2024 made his announcement about this year in a cryptic tweet on Saturday, though experts are unsure how seriously to take West's proclamation, assuming he could even get on state ballots at this point. Quote, we must realize the promise of America by trusting God, unifying our vision and building our future. I am running for president of the United States. So far, however, there is no evidence West has uh, there's no evidence that West has a campaign organization, or is there any indication he has filed papers with the FEC just four months before the November 3 election? The filing deadlines for independent candidates have passed or are coming up soon. So, you know, what what is going on with, with Kanye here? More posturing. He's really good at getting people's attention. Him and Trump have a lot in common that way. Master showman. Some people are saying that this is Kanye for 2024 not for 2020, uh, you know, and, and I, I wonder about Kanye because he's not, he's obviously, you know, he's not dumb, but sometimes he just seems to not understand what's going on around him at all. And I, you know, I, I'm not an expert on Kanye West. I like his music. Um, I, I enjoy, a, a, you know, some of it might, you know, stronger in my gym music mix, of course, but you know, I, I just keep seeing these headlines that politically make him look like a useful idiot. You know, just getting, and this tweet right here, just, you go, well, is this someone who's, hey, Kanye, you should, when you got, why is someone like Kanye West occupying the bandwidth that Kanye West is instead of someone like Immortal Technique? And I just use that as one example, right? I, you know, I like Immortal Technique for having a message that actually challenges authority. Well, gee, the record companies. Well, gee, intellectual property. Well, gee, corporatism. What Kanye West is their useful idiot. And now the idiot in the White House currently isn't useful enough. So let's give them the, the religious black version with music. Kanye West. I hope America doesn't buy into this. I don't think this is serious. I think more he's just being manipulated, but who knows? Maybe he's testing the waters. And if people go, you know what? Trump, Biden, screw them both. Let's go with Kanye. And you know what? I know this is really, uh, you know, if he gets momentum, I hope at the end he goes, and therefore I'm endorsing Joe Jorgensen, Libertarian for President, we get a breakout year. Thanks to Kanye doing something really fun and clever on a big stage like he is, you know, known to accomplish. Is it going to be good for freedom? Yeah, one way or another. If he's shaking things up, um, you know, I would say Joe Jorgensen is my first choice for 2020, having endorsed her as our Libertarian nominee, obviously. But uh, could be a very close runner-up, Kanye West, second place. And I would be excited to promote Kanye 2020 if he thinks he's got a chance at, you know, taking a, a bite out of the establishment and shaking things up. Could be one more exciting part of our 2020 election cycle.